Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on into some crazy news. The, today is just crazy, so no custom minifigure Monday today, but we've got some pretty crazy news. We've got two more set reveals for LEGO Super Mario. Earlier on today, we did get the official pictures for the Mario Starter Course, which will include the Bowser Jr. part, which is really exciting in my opinion. The price for that is going to be $59.99 USD. So $79.99 Canadian. And then we also heard earlier that uh, thanks to a link actually from Lego Shop at Home that there will actually be a Monty Mole and Super Mushroom free set valued at $14.99 USD releasing in the summer along with some sort of like, it's, it's a giveaway promotion from Lego Shop at Home. And a special thanks to 1414 Falcon Fan who actually sent me the links to these articles from NintendoEverything.com. We got a reveal of two more sets. And unfortunately, I have a really bad feeling we're not going to be getting any minifigures. But uh, the Bowser's Castle Boss Battle Expansion Set, I'm going to talk about first because it's the most epic one. It's going to be retailing for 99 USD, so I'm going to guess like 119 or 129 Canadian. This thing is absolutely massive. It looks so, so incredible, though. I love everything about this set besides the fact that it, it's this sort of digifigure scale. But it looks really cool nonetheless. You've got, of course, Mario included in this set, which is interesting because I thought he would only be in one. Disappointed that it's not someone else like a Luigi or, or someone else like that. But then you've also got one of the fires in front there, as well as you've got a Dry Bones as well as a boo flying around so that's really interesting i'm not sure how that's going to work but i love the bowser flags that looks really really cool and then of course you also get bowser himself which just looks really really epic to the right it looks like they've got one of the power-up boxes and to the left i'm not too sure um but other than that it looks really cool I love the statue, of course, of Bowser and behind. That looks absolutely amazing and so, so stunning. The design of the castle itself looks really, really awesome. I love the lava part flowing out of that. The way that that's built looks so cool. The main gate looks really awesome, as well as just the spikes in general. It just reminds me so much, and it just represents Bowser so well. But I think just by far the coolest part is that statue and seeing Bowser in front there. That That's just... That's something really special. That looks so unique and incredible, and I'm, I'm so excited about this, and I love the way that it looks, and the way that, of course, the other villains are turning out as well. I think that that's really cool. I wonder if they are going to remain exclusive, specifically the Dry Bones, I could definitely see happening, but uh, this is that set. So moving on now to the next one. It's the Piranha Plant Power Slide, and that's going to be retailing for $29.99 USD, so $39.99 Canadian, and... It's interesting, it's got that block there, it's like a timer, or I think it gives you extra time if I recall, but it's kind of interesting, you have like this slide that you can put Mario on maybe, and it, you, ang I, I don't even know, like it's really confusing what is going on here, but it's meant to be set in like the desert, and what's cool is it comes with a Koopa as well as a Goomba, so it doesn't look to be exclusive, these villains and different things, um, the enemies that you're going to be facing off in the different sets, because, like, first of all, the Koopa, I believe, was teased in the other videos, um, revealed for LEGO Super Mario. So it's very interesting uh, to see it here. I like the little cactus designs, and again, I'm not too sure what's going on there. Like, what, uh, do you, uh, the, the scanner or whatever uh, is, is on the cart, so that's very strange to me. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on there. But anyways, that's it for the Super Mario news I'm just getting really worried that we're not going to be getting any minifigures anytime soon. It's just, I don't know, I'm getting that gut feeling now, maybe not until 2021, because I was pretty sure that the biggest set wouldn't be in this scale, and it turns out it is, so getting worried. But anyways, everyone, what do you think of this? It's super exciting. Big day for Mario and Super Mario. I hope that there is a Luigi figure, or I guess a Digi figure, or something in another set, because I don't want to run around this whole... Uh, expansion building upon this uh, level and different things only with Mario. I, I want to do it with Luigi or or Wario and even Toad and, and different things like that. So we'll have to wait and see. But anyways, everyone, what do you think of this? Let me know down below in the comment section. I'm, I'm getting worried. Let me know your thoughts too. I hope that you did enjoy this video and I hope that you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next one.